What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. And today we're talking about something, well, I've talked about this before, and I've never given it a dedicated video. It was part of a big, like, 45 minute long 101 feature on, of multiple parts actually, on weapons. And I still get this question a lot, so I'm going to talk about this very specifically in its own video. And to do so, we're actually not at the guild, we're going to go into the blacksmith, and we're going to go to crafting. And I'm going to try to craft a very specific weapon. Now, if I go up here to filter, and I filter my magic and staff, I am looking for the teardrop staff. Forest teardrop. There it is. Now, before, in take one of this video, I actually didn't have the forest tears. Now, if you're lacking one of these elements, like I was prior to this, the way you're going to acquire this is you're going to go to the shop, you need to go to the special exchange and go to the materials exchange. Okay? I need forest tears. Or I needed forest tears, I guess I should say. Uh, wish, wish take one would have actually worked. It would have been a lot more effective. But I need those forest tears. Now, to do so, you're going to have to exchange one, four, four, that's a lot, four <laughs> of these gems. Now, where do you acquire these gems? Well, there's two places you acquire them. One, your daily dispatch quests, which you need to be doing each and every single day. Two, if you go up here to boost and you go to the crafting quest, you can actually run an EX level crafting quest. I'm not going to run it with that team because that team takes too long. I'm going to run it with this team. And mostly because they one-shot it. <laughs> that other team, not so much. Um... Now, this only takes one stamina. Basically, by the time you've... They're not one-shotting it. I don't remember the crafting quest being this difficult. Whatever. Um, so, basically, by the time you're done running this, your stamina is pretty much, if not completely restored, damn near. So, it's for the better part of free to run. And, not only does this give you the kind of crafting elements that are listed for each quest like there's one that does the logs one that does the ores one that does the rocks very different various different things so a lot of it depends upon what you're after most of the time by the time you're later in the game you don't really care now i got my logs here but i didn't get those gems the gems and bellows and uh hammers are rare drops but they do happen let's say for the sake of argument you get a gem there Great! Absolutely awesome. Maybe you get two. I still need more, so what i do is I would just do a play again and just go until I get my gems. It can take you a few minutes, I won't lie, but it isn't the worst investment of your time by any stretch of the imagination. So, once you get all your gems, like I said, once again, you go back down here, go to shop, go to special exchange, go to materials exchange, and I would grab my forest tears, which I already have. Now, now I'm going to go back over to the blacksmith. I'm going to go to crafting weapons. And I'm going to once again do it by magic and staff. Go find our teardrops. There we are, forest teardrop. And craft that weapon. And of course it's going to give me garbage stats, because why wouldn't it? Uh, actually, those are pretty decent stats. I wish it gave me a... Wish it would give me something a little more, but that's alright. I can't be mad about that. It did give me triples, which is weird. I've never seen it give triples on a gold. Usually it gives you a rainbow for that. But, 230, I got a 212 out of 230, so it's not the worst. Not the best, not the worst. I am definitely going to have to rehammer that at some point. But... Neither here nor there. Now I'm completely out of those forest tiers, so if I needed to go craft another one, which is a thing sometimes, I'd have to go through that process all over again. But pretty straightforward. Like, almost every single element, or every single uh, weapon, requires something along those lines. Uh, not Ancient Wand. Okay, I lied. <laughs> but you can see the pure wood's required for that one. Earth Mother Staff requires its own thing. Uh, various, various uh, weapons require different types of elements. 
So like that sprite, if I was to go get that sprite, I would actually have to go get that out of that same thing. So on and so forth. But just fairly straightforward stuff. Um, if you've been playing this for any amount of time, most of the most of those items have probably long since been acquired. But every once in a while, there is that rare exception like I was dealing with right there. For whatever reason, whenever that event was around, I just didn't run it or something. But now that you're there, now you know how to get the gems. Now you know how to get those items. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Once again, like, comment, and share. I will catch you guys on the next one.